Oh, wow. Well, I gotta take my hat off to that new staff at TCU. Yes. Well, the Sooners just get outplayed by the Horn Frogs in Fort Worth, 55 to 24. There's no better way to put it than that. We'll do the post game report coming up right now. Bummer Sooner 1982. Don't go away. Post game show, everybody. And I think you guys know me. I'm Harry James. Well, as you already heard, the uh, Sooners get outplayed by the Horn Frogs in Fort Worth, 55 to 24. The uh, pat, uh, statistics look like this um, for uh, the game itself. Oklahoma, Dylan. Gabriel, number eight, Dylan Gabriel, 126 yards passing, zero touchdowns, zero picks, and a long pass of uh, 78 yards. By the way, that one pass, guys, golly, it came, and it came hard. It came on one play. That was basically the entire offense for uh, Gabriel after being knocked out by the linebacker defensive end Safety from TCU. But Max Duggan, he played the full game. Earned a total of 302 yards in the air, by the way. To go with three touchdowns, zero picks, and a long pass of 67 yards. Uh, that's the passing statistics for each team. Rushing statistics... Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new runner in Oklahoma, and he's looking pretty darn good with Javante Barnes. But, of course, the veteran Eric Gray also doing his part. The new kid on the block, Javante Barnes, 18 carries for 100 yards and two touch two tug tugboats, touchdowns, that is, with a long run of 20 yards. The aforementioned veteran of the group, Eric Gray, 13 total rushes to go with 60 yards and a touchdown. His longest pass run, uh, 13 yards. Rushing, oh boy, here we go. Cavante Miller and Max Dugan. Cavante Miller first, 13 carries to go with 136 yards, two tugboats. And a long run of 69 yards. Max Duggan, or Max Dugan, matched his jersey number 15 rushes to go with, ready for this one, guys, 116 yards, two touchdowns, and a long-distance shot run of 67 yards. All right, there's that. Now let's go look at the uh, receiving statistics, by the way. Brayden Willis and Marvin Mims both stepping up huge for Oklahoma. The uh, fullback, riding the fullback, tight end, H-back, slot, back. Brayden Willis giving it his all, guys. Just two carries, but did have 81 yards and a touchdown. Uh, 81 yards, did not have a touchdown catch. His longest pass of reception was 78 yards. Marvin Mims was the next man to big man target. Four carries, 41 yards, zero touchdowns, and a long run of 17, a long distance, 
uh, reception of 17 yards. All right, so there's that. Now let's go to TC receiving, guys. Four, Tay Barber, three catches, 107 yards, and a touch. Down. His longest reception, 73 yards. The next leading receiver for TCU, Gunner Henderson, 27 Gunner Henderson. Just one catch, but it was for 62 big ones. And yes, he scored a touchdown on his big long run. Big reception shot from 62 yards out. Defensively for Oklahoma, 10 tackles, 0 forced fumbles, 0 fumbles recovered, 0 picks. That defensive stat came from David Abuegu. Also, Justin Harrington had 8 tackles to go with 0 forced fumbles, 0 fumbles recovered, 0 picks. Defensively for uh, TCU, Johnny, 57, Johnny Hodges, 10 total tackles, 0 fumbles, fumbles forced, 0 fumbles recovered, 0 picks. And defensive end linebacker D. Winters, 8 total tackles, 0 forced fumbles, 0 fumbles recovered, 0 picks. Punters, both punters did great the other day. Michael Turk, 8 punts. To average 46.9 and average three punts inside the 20, two touchbacks and a long punt of 60 yards. Jordy Sandy, five punts, 38.4 and average, one inside the 20, zero touchbacks, and the dunk and the long distance punt of 44 yards. That's half of the stats for special teams. Now let's take a look at the other half of special teams, and that's the kicking game and for Zach Schmidt, 34, Zach Schmidt, that's a good start. One for one for him from 43 yards out for Oklahoma. But Griffin Kale, non-applicable on field goals. Attempted Saturday. So there's that. Now, let's tell you how we got to a 55-24 final. And it started pretty quickly for TCU. Uh, 15, Max Duggan. Hooks up with uh, 18, Savion Williams on a 19-yard touchdown pass. 7-0 uh, Horned Frogs with 4-12-45 4, left in the ballgame. Oklahoma, though, not to be outdone, kicks a field goal of their own right from 43 yards out to Zach Schmidt. And we're on the board, but Horned Frogs do lead 7-3 with 9-49 left. Matt's Duggan. Does a little bit more damage to the Sooners. A 73-yard touchdown bomb for Max Duggan to Tay Barber. PAT, however, nugget. So we're stuck at a 13-3 ball game with 8.35 left. Torn Frogs, though, do lead. Then Max Duggan does it himself. He says, hey, I can throw a 73-yarder and... To add, a add more pressure to the fire, I'll run in a 67-yarder. Ran it in from 67 yards to put it up 20 to 3. 717 left. Horn Frogs up oh, huge, as Mike Steely would say. Oklahoma, though, this time would answer. Eric Gray, one-yard touchdown plunge into the end zone for Agent Zero. Eric Gray, 20 to 10. Horn Frogs, though, lead, but. There's 2.15 left in the first quarter. Final score of the quarter was a uh, Cavante Miller 15-yard touchdown run. 27-10 Sooners trail the Horn Frogs with 7 seconds left at the end of the first quarter. Second quarter, Amare Demercato adds a 1-yard touchdown plunge onto his docket for TCU. He wears number three for the Frogs, by the way. Three, Amare Dumarcado, one-yard touchdown plunge, 34 to 10. With 10-30 left, 10-30 left, Horn Frogs lead. Javante Barnes does answer, though, for the Sooners. A 20-yard touchdown plunge to make it 34-17, Horn Frogs, 8-49 left. And then Max Duggan. 
He throws another 62-yard bomb. This one from Max Duggan to Gunner Henderson. 41, 17 frogs with a buck 34 left as we head to halftime. Bleeding not done for TCU. They'll add on a touchdown in, uh, in the third with a 69. Nice run, by the way. 69-yard run by Covante Miller. 48-17 to TCU leading. 9.30 left. Max Dugan, Duggan, Dugan then adds a little two-yard touchdown run in his own right. 55-17. A dollar 40 left in the third. That's the way it'll stay until we get to the fourth, where Javante Barnes will get a one-yard touchdown plunge. 55-24 at this point. 11-24 left. And that's your door slammer. The Jeff Levy offensive play of the game was the 78-yard touchdown pass from uh, Dylan Gabriel to Braden Willis. Third and 13, by the way. Then a 78-yard bomb down to the one-yard line. That's it offensively. Defensively, just like you had to kind of find this play, you kind of had to find a play defensively. You finally did, though. Fourth and one to Monte Miller tries to make the play. Can't. Stuffed at the line by 77, Jeremy, or Jeffrey Johnson. And that is your defensive play of the game for this one between TCU and Oklahoma. 55-24 the final. And that one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you stuck with me, you're a trooper, by the way. You guys know me, though. I'm Harry James. I'll do this week in and week out, win or lose, as you can tell. Uh, you can watch them. Just go on to the YouTube Member Center 1982. Also, Facebook, Harry James Taylor. Or find it on Twitter, at HypeManHarry. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'm Bummer Sooner, everybody. I'm out of here. Peace.